Well, Tennessee lawmakers are taking another look at the so-called heartbeat abortion bill during a two-day study session in August. As we all know, it was one of the more controversial measures during this year's legislative session. The bill passing the House, but not the Senate. New at 5, state Capitol reporter Chris Bungard hearing from the bill's sponsor who says it will be back next January. Two days in August at the state capitol will say a lot about Tennessee's version of the fetal heartbeat bill and constitutional concerns from some lawmakers. We believe that we are going to be able to address those issues as well as be successful um, in court challenge. That was in April, just before the state Senate sent Senator Mark Pody's so-called heartbeat bill to what's called summer study. Bills often don't move beyond there, but the senator remains upbeat about his heartbeat bill vision. So this is going to give us a great opportunity for all parties to express their views and do more fact-finding on what we like and don't like about this particular bill. Similar bills passed in other states that ban abortion when a heartbeat is detected face legal concerns, but the senator thinks a Tennessee version avoids that by not making the fetal heartbeat the definition of when to ban an abortion. What we're using the heartbeat for is the confirmation of life. We're not saying that's when life starts, but we are saying that that heartbeat is going to confirm that life at this point. The senator hopes his Tennessee colleagues will grow comfortable with another definition of when to ban an abortion. As soon as there is the realistic expectation that somebody is expecting a baby, that the doctors and, and everybody would have to respect that baby as life, whether they have a heartbeat or not, they have to respect that as life. And you know, we, we cannot terminate that, that life. The senator expects nearly two full days of testimony in August about Tennessee's version of the fetal heartbeat bill. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard. Again, the study session is set for August.